I can't believe it. This little lady is Detective Jared's daughter. And the actual murderer. She's no better than, um... Oh my god. Never mind then. I just can't tell her. I can't tell her why she was kidnapped. Why was I kidnapped? I want to know. Oops. There are no secrets in Ghost World. Maybe you'd better stop talking. It's too dangerous. Sissy, you're not going to talk to me anymore? I think we better get you out of here first. We can talk more after that. Okay, but... I'm going to rescue you now. Just hold on a little longer, okay? Okay, but we'll talk later, right? Don't forget, you promised, Sissy. Alright, um... Why would you have the gun contraption in your hands? I don't understand. What took you so long? I traveled the entire town in search of the finest bread of milk for you, my dear, but it's late and all the shops are closed. We're leaving this place right now. What? But he's not here yet. We couldn't meet at the restaurant. Weren't we supposed to meet here? Yes, and he's the one who chose this location. Hmm. I don't like this one bit. We have to run around doing all this extra work, all for the sake of this deal. Be quiet. Can't be helped. This place is too dangerous. I told you, my sixth sense is very strong. Alright, as you wish, beauty. I feel it. I sense something here in this room. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? I is she talking to me? I can sense your presence, you know. The next time I sense you, this child will die. Remember that. Right, we're leaving. Back in the trunk with ye. Pardon me, little lady. Oh, her book. Her book! She was reading that. The trunk gets bigger every time I see it, it's weird. All of a sudden, I'm left behind alone. Alone in the room that stole that little lady's smile five years ago. The little lady's gone, now leaving me with only a few new facts. A few very heavy, very sad facts. Does Lynn know about all this? One other thing stands in my mind. I can sense your presence. Some of that kidnapper's final words. Do those two know? Do the kidnappers know about the powers of the dead? So that's another chapter. We'll save. We'll do one more and then I'll... Do you guys want Pokemon or do you guys want, um, Isaac? You guys decide there. You you do that. You figure out what you want. Took the kidnappers... Oh, it looks like the kidnappers made a big mistake. The girl in the trunk was Detective Jow's daughter, Camilla, not the minister's daughter. When I got back to the Justice Minister's office, things were getting even more out of hand. A devastated man was being grilled by the fiery detective lady. I told Lynn what I had found about the kidnapping, that it wasn't the Justice Minister's daughter who had been abducted. That the kidnappers had actually had been holed up in Camilla's old house, and that they sensed my presence and were already gone. Camilla? Why do they have Camilla? Her father isn't the stupid old justice minister. I think the stupid old part is a little uncalled for. It looks like the kidnappers made a mistake somehow. Poor girl, kidnapped for the ransom of her own father's execution. It's just too much. It's a cruel twist of fate, I agree. And then there are those other twists, too. Like the kidnappers winding up and using Camilla's old house as their hiding. There's no way it could be just a coincidence. And then sensing my presence? I seem to know about the powers of the dead. I don't understand any of it. I told you before, detective. I want you to stand back. Who cares about distance at a time like this? Look, Mr. Minister, it wasn't your daughter that was kidnapped. Don't try to pretend you didn't hear what we were saying. How can I believe in you? I'm a realist. This guy. If you don't believe what we say, see for yourself. Just call home and... I tried calling a hundred times, my wife won't answer. She won't? It's... it's complicated. Why does life have to be such a complicated thing? 
if she doesn't answer it, doesn't that mean everything's normal? It doesn't prove it. And I'm being watched. I can't have the police go check for me. Besides, if the execution isn't carried out tonight, the hostage will be killed. What difference does it make if it's not my daughter? Wooey, that's quite a pickle, Min Mr. Minister. Quite a pickle. Uh-oh, not you. <sighs> Miss me, baby? Inspector Cabanella. This guy, though. I have a little report for you, Mr. Minister. The escaped prisoner has been apprehended. I thought you might like to see him, so here he is. Okay, so can we just like spill the beans and tell everybody everything? Uh, Fid? Daddy didn't like pack up all his stuff. Can you just get off his stuff? Thank you. Alright, Detective Jad, I'm so sorry. I tried. I know that you're innocent. I just can't prove it. I'm so sorry. Lynn, please, don't apologize to me. Ah, oh, the beautiful love between teacher and student. It brings a tear to my eye. Alright, so... You knew, didn't you, Inspector Cabanella? The execution was tonight. I don't believe I had any obligation to tell you. And you're fine with this? I mean, you know as well as I do. Detective Jout could never have done such a thing. Ha ha ha. Oh, come on now, baby. I know no such thing. Huh? I know two things to be true, and two things only. One, he was given the death penalty, and two, he tried to escape. What else could I do but haul him in, baby? If that's the case, why did you bring him here? Whatever do you mean, young lady? He escaped from prison, right? So why didn't you just take him back to the prison? I think you only brought him here... ...to brag about your accomplishment. Isn't that right, Inspector? For your own selfish reasons. So were all those rumors about you true? That the only thing you care about is a spotless record? Is that more important to you than saving a friend? You can give it to him. Everybody has certain principles they can't go back on. Including me. You'll understand that someday, baby. That's enough, Lynn. But Detective Jowd. I'm a death row inmate who escaped from prison. This is how it should be. But... but My poor Emily, Emily, em Emily, I, I don't fucking know. Is she alright? Actually, the girl who kidnapped is named Camilla. Why is the dream talking to me in my head again? Wait a minute. Could that be... Emil Amy, next door? Yeah, I think so. Wow, I didn't know the justice minister lived next door. No, not me. My wife. It's uh, complicated. Yeah, I bet it'd be pretty hard to admit she left him. Minister's wife ran away on him? Maybe they grew apart with him being so busy. Yeah, I bet you're right. Please stop gossiping about me inside my own head. He needs more pills is what he needs. According to what I heard... I can't say that name. It was just supposed to sort of... Some sort of lesson tonight. Those horrible kidnappers... Can, I can't even speak anymore. Kidnappers were lying in wait for her. But she didn't go out after all. She couldn't. She had a fever. Huh, so the kidnappers grabbed Camilla by mistake. Apparently, Amy and Camilla are about the same age. The kidnappers must have gotten the two of them mixed up. It's my fault. If I hadn't asked Camilla to do that errand for me, this never would have happened. Right, you asked her to bring in the music box. Camilla. Um, no, I don't want to do that. Can I... The spear, it's the spear, talk to Jowd. So, Mr. Ghost, we meet again. I heard something happened. Something about a kidnapping? The kidnappers are saying they abducted the minister's daughter. It's terrible. What's their demand? Carrying out of your execution tonight. Ha ha ha. I had no idea I was so hated. But the minister doesn't have to worry. I die and it's all over. Very simple. It's not that simple. Why not? Because it isn't really the minister's daughter who got kidnapped. It's Camilla. 
What? Camilla? I checked it in for myself. I'm positive. No, it can't be. And by the way, Camilla told me something interesting. She said the one who killed her mother five years ago was Camilla herself. What are you talking about? Don't listen to him. I'm the one who shot her. I'm the one who shot Alma. When I'm executed tonight, that'll be the end of it. Camilla won't have to suffer any more after tonight. For a capable detective, you say some incredibly misguided things. You dying isn't going to end that girl's suffering. It'll just bring her new suffering. The only person's pain this execution is going to ease is yours. Is it true what Camilla said? Why don't you tell us what you know? No one really killed her, it was a fucking accident. To be honest, I still don't understand what happened that day. It was my wife, Alma's birthday. I came home from work and she went in first. I love that noise, I don't know what it is. The like grinding noise, it's really nice. I looked for the shooter, but there was nobody to be found. There was nobody there besides Alma and Camilla, just the two of them. So the little lady's mother died right in front of her. Oh my, that's so horrible. Camilla told me about it. She was crying. She said the contraption she made did something it wasn't supposed to and made an impossible move. An impossible move? It's been five years since then. I stopped thinking about it. I shot Alma. There's no other explanation. That's what I've convinced everyone of. Even me. But tonight, you shut up and gave me an explanation I never would have thought of before. Powers of the dead, right? The day in the room, powers that I didn't understand were at work. And if that's the case, it clears up all the mysteries. Maybe not all. There are a couple of people who know about those powers. The weird lady with the weird hair. She uses some crazy powers to hold that hair up. Is somebody there? Can you hear me? I can sense your presence, you know. The kidnappers who abducted Camilla knew about those powers. This is no ordinary kidnapping. It looks like my wife's case isn't coming to an end after all. I'm the only one who thought it was. Dr. Jowd. There's still time before dawn, a little anyway. How about you see this case through to the end before you die? Alright, possible move. Camilla was a quiet little girl, but she was good with her hands. She was a little genius at making elaborate toys of contraptions, but there were two very strange points about that contraption. The first was, of course, the firing of that gun. Right, that was an antique gun I had on display for years. So it wasn't part of the little lady's original design. Of course it wasn't. It was supposed to be a surprise for her mother's birthday. The other strange point was the movement of that Cupid. Cupid. Yeah, he turns around, doesn't he? It's supposed to shoot its arrow without turning around. Somebody made a change to the contraption. Somebody made a change to the contraption's design and then manipulated it so that the cupid turned around. I don't know what to say. I didn't have time to think things through then. All I knew was I had to protect Camilla. I made a small adjustment to the scene and turned myself in. Adjustment. What kind of adjustment? Gun, of course. Gun, eh? Come think of it. Isn't in the picture frame. There was no gun there, just a picture hanging on the wall. Of course not, because I secretly switched the gun out of that frame with the picture. I didn't believe what she told me about her contraption, but one thing was for certain. The gun was still smoking. So the gun really did shoot Alma. I hid the gun before I went to the police. I hid it? I put it in a wooden box and gave it to a certain detective. What? Y you mean... And that detective still thinks it's a music box. So that one was in the box. I got a different murder weapon ready to give to the police. My own pistol. And I did a few other things to make it look good. I won't go into the details. When I was all done, I turned myself in. Alright, so... Detective Jowd, is what you told us just now true? Yes, of course. In that case, there's still time. Still time? Time to solve the case that started five years ago. You didn't do it, Detective Jowd, and of course, little Camilla didn't do it either. 
So the true perpetrator is still out there, and I'm going to prove it for Camilla's sake. That sounds wonderful. Thank you, Detective Jowd. Lynn, where is that music box now? Temsic Park. Camilla left it there. The gun is important evidence. You better go pick it up. Yes, sir. I'll go right now. He's not going to let her leave. Sissel, take care of Detective Jow. We'll do something with the kidnapping so we can get the minister on our side. And again, I say easy enough for you to say. What's going on? Deal me the deal, Mr. Death Row inmate. A little change in plans. My daughter has been kidnapped. I can't just walk to die without doing something. But you're in our custody, don't forget. Back at the prison, everybody's waiting for you with a special seat just for you, baby. Then I guess we'd better prove my innocence on the double. On the double, is it? You sound so determined, my old friend. I want to save Camilla in more ways than one. And that's all there is to it. Let's see, my old friend, in more ways than one. What say you, Mr. D Minister? May we have your decision? Should the execution be carried out tonight, as planned? Or should we hold off and wait for this important evidence to come in? The order still stands. Bring the prisoner back immediately and resume its enforcement. Hey Eli, what's up dude? Oh, you said Isaac too. Sorry about that. As you wish, Your Excellency. Please don't bow down to me. Especially not that low. In that case, can I have one of your boys arrange a prison van to pick him up? Would you be so kind? Yes, sir. Just everybody in this game walks weird. Break the chair. Oh, it's a chair. Right, okay. So you just the van should take about ten minutes. I'm guessing your escape tonight was brilliant. Will you show me another miracle in these last few minutes of yours, Death Row Invite, Mr. Death Row? Invite? All right, so we have to. Um, I'm glad to see Detective Jan all fired up now, but I feel like I'm under the gun here. Even if Lynn does come through with the proof of Jad's innocence, it will be meaningless if Jad or Camilla dies. I'm gonna do something about that kidnapping somehow. Maybe I should ask for some advice from the capable detective here. Let's talk to Joe. Most likely the minister won't stop the execution. Not as long as there's any small chance his daughter is the one who was kidnapped. But she isn't the one, I'm sure of it. Well, it would be great if we could prove that to the minister. How? I doubt his wife is ever gonna answer that phone if we call from here. If we call from here, right? But a telephone works in both directions. What are you saying? What I'm saying is, only family members can solve a family problem. Hey, Mr. Ghost. Yes? I have to admit, I don't like depending on others, but you're the only one who can change the situation. G Detective. In these past five years, Camilla is the only thing that kept me going. I can't go meekly to the chair now. I hate to ask this, but would you mind saving me? I'll try. The key to getting the Justice Minister to stop the execution is his wife and daughter, but is there a way? Alright, so I guess I'm going to Yeah, Minister's a little messed up. Just a wee bit messed up. Okay, we had to figure out how to get this little sick child to use the phone. Just as I thought. This little girl is safe in her bed. Murder, execution, jailbreak, betrayal, and now kidnapping. This last link in the long chain of a sad fate lit a fire in Jowd Har Jowd's heart. The chance to turn it all around is right here in this room. I'm getting a strange premonition. Everything that happened so far tonight is related back to me in some way. And I bet this mistaken written abduction does too. 